why we're going to talk about mock trimming in relation to 22 rimfire more than we do an air rifle. The problem of high velocity variation doesn't really exist in air rifle the same way. Yeah. Uh, so, and, but that's how we do it. We build up uh, like from the ground up from first principles, what characterizes subsonic aeroballistics and stability and projectile design. And once we know what characterizes those things, at the end we bring in, okay, what's your application? Oh, you're 22 rimfire, you're burning powder. Okay, so you'll wanna focus on these things. Mm -hmm. This guy over here, you were, okay, air rifle. All right, drawing from the same foundation of knowledge, we can say, all right, for air rifle, here are the things that you need to know that are gonna be valuable for that. And likewise for pistols and for 300 blackout, there's, there's going to be a separate list of things that are most relevant to every application, but those, all of those short lists get generated from the same foundational knowledge. <laughs>